Welcome back to the Big Sunday Show. And we're back with a Fox News alert. Another object just shot down over Lake Huron. In the past week alone, since the military took out that China spy balloon, the military shot down three other objects, two over Alaska and Canada over the last past two days. But don't ask President Biden about any of this. And this was last night. So as the president does not answer questions from reporters, his fellow Democrats tried to spin the story, claiming China should be embarrassed. I think the Chinese were humiliated. I think the Chinese were caught lying. And I think it's a real, it's, it's a real step back for them. Okay, so... I guess the big question is um, who is really humiliated in this moment. And before I go to you, Joey, I do want folks to take a listen to Senator Ron Johnson calling the Biden administration the B team on the field when it comes to dealing with China. And I've been warning for years about the risk of a high altitude nuclear blast that could create an electromagnetic pulse that could wipe out our electronics. Uh, e even a geomagnetic disturbance could do the same thing. And we haven't prepared for it. We, we spent a trillion dollars on an infrastructure plan, and we don't buy the large power transformers that we could, you know, put in place if the other ones are knocked out. So we, we are not prepared for this. And we've got, uh, you know, to say the B team is probably even accurate. Uh, we, we do not have the A team on the field right now, and, and it should alarm Americans. Yeah, that is not comforting. And, Joey, you have Senator Schumer saying that China was the one that are the ones who should are humiliated right now. But is it really um, this administration that's dealing with that? Listen, you know, I try to be responsible about things. Uh, as someone who identifies as conservative, usually votes Republican, um, I've been pretty critical of those that are jumping on the politics of this because I think it's a much more important American issue, which is, hey, our are there countries trying to spy on us? Did a, did a balloon just cross over our country, monitor our cell phones, take our personal data, um, and while it was doing it, map out some nuclear sites? You know, I'm worried about that as an American. I didn't vote for this guy. I don't want him to get reelected, but I want him to do a heck of a job while he's there. I don't have a third of the information to make an indictment on him. Now, if I flip that over and look at Democrats, okay, are you serious, Chuck Schumer? You're trying to tell me in the most amazing political spin ever that China is embarrassed? China's not embarrassed. China's collecting data. And from what we see, they're doing a heck of a job at it. Right. Well, and also, uh, Congressman Mike Turner um, out of Ohio brought up a really good point about our radar system and our defense system. So take a listen. We don't really have adequate radar systems. We certainly don't have an integrated missile defense system. We're going to have to begin to look at the United States airspace as one that we need to defend. This shows some of the problems and gaps that we have. Yeah, Tommy, I think folks in middle America are figuring that out real quickly. Yeah, the term that was used was unprepared, and I think that that sums it up perfectly. Whether yeah. you're a Democrat or you're a Republican or you're a Biden fan or you're not, it really doesn't matter. I think anybody can look at this and say whether these are spy apparatus or whether they are just a weather balloon gone rogue from a university. We are unprepared to account for what they are. We don't know what it is, so it doesn't matter if it's from the Chinese or from the Russians. Or it doesn't matter if it's from anybody. The fact that we don't know and we're shooting things out of the sky and the American people don't know. Now, I know we're awaiting a briefing from the DOD, but I think that this is all a little bit too late. You've got this many objects unprecedented being shot down. The American people is still largely in the dark. And then you've got our representatives going on television in a moment where they could be reassuring the American people they're getting to the bottom of it and spinning some mumbo jumbo about how China has been humiliated. That doesn't give a lot of comfort to people that are in the Midwest, people that are in Alaska, people that are in all across our nation that are now having to look up at the sky and wondering if their state is going to be next unprepared unacceptable yeah and um contra i mean yeah. you brought up a point that's like one after the other after the other right but, and it's just been kind of weird that there are no accidents right there are no coincidences freud I, I believe said that and the question is have these things these objects always existed and now they're only being shot down take out the chinese spy balloon but but the, the other three after that over michigan over alaska over canada are we shooting them down now because joe biden wants a do-over for allowing that chinese spy balloon to do a clark griswold and go entirely across the country unfettered spying on our icbm sites to your point surveilling our conversations here's the 
the bottom line right now. The commander in chief should be in front of a microphone answering questions about this because right now the Super Bowl is the most watched television show of the year. More than 100 million people are going to tune in. He could walk up in 20 minutes and say, I will answer any questions in terms of the information I have now because he'll never have a bigger audience. Instead, he's already called a lid on the day because, well, it's Sunday after all, and you do have to get ready for the Super Bowl, I guess. Yeah, and we're waiting that DOD briefing. Real quick, this is an important point that we need to talk about. I don't really care for politics. I enjoy policy. I enjoy the idea of figuring out answers to problems. I don't really care for partisan politics. I've seen the right do it all week. I've seen the left do it all week. What the president needs to understand, and all of these elected representatives need to understand, this is the closest thing to a physical threat to our homeland that we've been able as Americans to sit around and worry about perhaps since 9-11, perhaps since the weeks after 9-11. That's not a small thing. If the president and the Pentagon know that that threat doesn't exist, tell us and tell us why. Mm -hmm. If they don't know that it doesn't exist, but they know they can protect us, tell us and tell us why. We're not asking for all the answers. We're not asking for all the details. We're not asking for the state secrets and how we detect things. We're asking, should we worry? Is this a prelude to something bigger? Is this nothing at all? Or is it something in between? That's not too much to ask, and leaders know that. Leaders don't weigh the effect of operational security with the minds and hearts of Americans and say, you know what, it's worth leaving 330 million people scared to death because we're going to you know, track a signal out of this balloon and we might be able to uh, show that we have a technological advantage. Leaders understand the people you're leading are most important. The mission can change, how you do it can change, but the people you're leading have to believe you. And for the president, those people are Americans. Let us know something. And with each shoot down, even more questions, right, um, by us, by average Americans out there. Everyone wants to know. And we are awaiting comment from the Department of Defense, and we'll bring it to you as soon as it happens. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.